1,800 years ago, in the 3rd century AD. China's Han Empire was divided into three kingdoms. The Maya civilization entered its classic period. Rome was in a state of military anarchy, and the world was dominated by paganism. It was at this time that a powerful explosion took place in the heavens. Two stars collided in the constellation of Cygnus. But no one alive then could see it. The explosion took place 1,800 light years away, which means the light released from that collision of stars would reach us 1,800 years later. That will be in 2022, according to calculations made by a group of scientists and students at Kelvin College in the U.S. state of Michigan. Astronomer Larry Molnar, who led the group, predicts the brightness of the explosion of the binary stars colliding with each other will become one of the brightest objects in the night sky for a time. That means that the two stars are so close to each other that they're basically touching. Speaking to VOA's Armenian service via Skype, Professor Molnar says the distance between the stars is equal to one and one half their diameter, and it takes only 11 hours for them to go around each other. They can do that stably for millions and millions of years, but in the case of this one star we're looking at, it turned out the orbital period was getting faster and faster over time. And the rate at which it was getting faster was accelerating, and that was the clue for us. In other words, these stars in the constellation Cygnus are closing in on one another after each rotation, like two balls bound by a rod. Part of what's been fun about this is working with my students, mm -hmm. and in particular that my one student, uh, Dan Van Nord, he's the one that actually first came up with the idea. The crash will generate huge energy, and the new star will be born. So what's going to happen is the two nuts are going to merge together. That's what makes the one new star. But the shell around it is exploded, blows off, and becomes the nebula. That briefly shines brightly because of the energy put into it, but after a while it spreads out, becomes transparent, becomes dim. And then what we see is that inside there, there is now the one big nut. More than 80% of all stars in our galaxy are members of multiple star systems containing two or more stars. Imagine if we also had two stars in our solar system, two or more suns in our sky. But astronomers say we should be happy with our only star, the sun, which gives us life, and enjoy the miraculous wonders it provides from sunrise to sunset every day. Aram Vanetian, Voice of America, Washington.